Sports stars have lots of resources dedicated to keeping them physically fit, but should more attention be paid to their state of mind? Evidence in the United States suggests that the two could be connected, with head injuries potentially leading to psychological damage. Even training isn't for the faint-hearted. And while Channel 4 News filmed Harlequin's rugby league team training, club captain Rob Purdom took a knock to the head. There's a growing awareness amongst players here that they've got to watch out for the effects of head injuries. There's, you know, physical contact every couple of seconds and, you know, your head's going to get in the way a lot and you see a lot of guys get knocked out and it can be pretty brutal to watch and it doesn't look pretty. And, you know, we think that in a couple of weeks, once his concussion's worn off, that that's, that's the end of his effects, but obviously that's not the case and there's prolonged long-term effects that they can have and the more we know about it, the more we'll be able to deal with it. This weekend's rugby league programme is accompanied by a campaign on mental health issues. Every little mistake that you make, there's 10, 15, 20,000 people watching you make that mistake. The State of Mind campaign is a response to the suicide of the former international Terry Newton last year. There's no evidence that Newton's mental state was affected by on-the-field injuries. He had other difficulties in his life. But there is evidence from the United States that repeated head injuries can have a direct impact on mental health. American footballers are known to be affected. Through the course of my career, um, I had a lot of concussions over the years. And concussions were never thought of as serious back then. They, they kind of laughed about it. You know, you got your bell rung. They'd give you a handful of smelling salts, put you back in the game, and, you know, you're back practicing the next day. My long-term symptoms? Uh, yes, M memory loss, um, anger management issues uh, are huge, um, uh, you know, judgment issues sometimes. Um, the, the memory I is the big thing for me. I mean, I literally, I have 28 years of these. Every, I'll probably have 15 pages just today already. 50 former American footballers have donated their brains to Boston University, where signs of chronic traumatic encephalopathy, CTE, have been found in nearly every single sample. It's a degenerative disease caused by blunt trauma to the head. Even the mildest head injuries actually cause some brain damage. They cause this by axonal shear, which is the actual neurons being um, split, and there's also some swelling there as well. So if you have recurrent blows to the head, you get recurrent loss of brain cells. Here, those behind Rugby League's State of Mind campaign are keeping a close watch on the American research. Getting concussed on the field, you almost feel obliged sometimes to get up and play on, and it's almost a badge of, a badge of honour. If that leads to uh, CTE in later life, which is what the NFL are trying to, trying to discover, we, we need to be, uh, to be linking in with the research they're doing and, and be at the forefront of that. Rugby league, American football and other sports now have protocols preventing concussed players returning to the field. But as knowledge about CTE increases, they may also have to do more to prevent concussion in the first place.